Hello and welcome to yet another video on my YouTube channel Mr. B does electronics. So today I'll be showing off this automatic hand sanitizer dispenser based on Arduino Uno. As you can see it works automatically when I put hand near it and as I retract my hand it automatically stops. So let's get on with the video and I will show you how I build this one. So this is the setup for my Arduino based automatic hand sanitizer. As you already know, this is an Arduino Uno. This is a 5 volt DC pump. This is a 5 volt relay. This is the power supply, 5 volt. You can use any power supply or any adapter while setting up. And this is the ultrasonic sensor. Links to all these will be given in the description below. So check them out. So this is the basic setup. Now let me run you through the connection. These two are the 5 volt connection coming from the Arduino. See 5 volt and ground right over there. And it is running to the breadboard over here. So this is the ground, the outer one and this is the 5 volt power source. This next goes into the 5 volt and ground connection of the relay as written over here. Next, the power runs to the 5 volt and ground of the ultrasonic sensor as you can hear VCC this is the 5 volt and this is the ground. The next connection comes to that of the DC motor. The DC motor was given these wires so I just soldered on some pins so that that can be easy to connect on the breadboard. This green wire, uh, if you can see over here, runs from the negative terminal of the motor into the negative rail of the breadboard, as you can see the outer rail. This purple one, if you follow it, this is the positive 5 volt. This runs straight to our relay over here and hooks on to the middle terminal over here. And this blue wire goes into the positive of the DC motor. So basically the 5 volt relay acts as a switch which uh, bridges the gap uh, for the DC motor and the Arduino. This is how the Arduino controls the DC motor. So this is the basic setup and you have to connect the e echo and the trigger pins, these two white wires over here, to Arduino pins 12 and 11 if you can see over here 12 and 11. And this wire connected to the digital pin 2 runs to the in pin of the 5 volt relay. So let me just connect the 5 volt power source and it turns on. So as soon as I place any obstacle or my hand in this case in front of the ultrasonic sensor, if you can hear that. And also if you pay attention to the relay LED is provided over here. So the programming and the connection diagram will be given in the description below. You can refer to them also. So now let's get back to building the enclosure for this hole. So the circuit is ready for the hand sanitizer dispenser based on Arduino. So next we want to make a case. So in my case, no puns intended, I am using these thin MDF boards. These are easily acquirable from Amazon and other e-commerce websites. They come in a pack of 10 or 20 and they are very easy to work with. You can use any kind of hobby knife or anything to cut shapes into it. So I have made these shapes out of it to make kind of an L-shaped box. Uh, these are the two sides. I am choosing an L-shaped so that it can be easily hung onto a wall. It will be looking like this. And the ultrasonic sensor will be here as well as the nozzle will be over here. And as soon as you put your hand underneath, it will spray the sanitizer automatically. So that is my design. You can design on your own according to your need. Oh, and by the way, if you have not checked out how to make an Arduino based oximeter and heartbeat sensor, you can check it out in the description below, also in the cards above. Also, if you want to check out these 
mesmerizing 3d led cube it will also be linked in the description below and also in the cards right up here take one of the pieces that you have cut and make a hole like this for the ultrasonic sensor so it will be poking through there right like that and another no hole will be here for the nozzle of the sanitizer sprayer so this is an update on how I'm building the box for the case uh, as you can see I did not cut them properly I can trim them off easily with a hobby knife or anything so I'm using Fevicol and these small pieces of wood right these are right angle uh, to preferably adhere them together and also to keep them right angle I'm using a box and a battery you can use anything at hand so this is how the side profile looks so another update uh, I have fixed the Arduino Uno inside the case with the help of double sided tape if you can see over there and I have cut a hole right over here for the power or the USB and as it was causing an interference if you can see there is a DC plug just over here I have disordered it and this is the 5 volt relay I have stuck over here and all the connections have been shifted from the breadboard into just I have just twisted the positive and the negative wires and all the data wires are directly connected to the Arduino and this is the jar I am planning on using as a container for the sanitizer as you can see I have just used two male pin headers as the positive and the negative for the motor over here or the pump sorry uh, this pump is submersible it will be okay uh, submerged inside the sanitizer and it is actually required I did some test and it was not pumping great when pipe was fitted onto the inlet so it needs to be submersible and this is the pipe that is going to deliver the sanitizer so this is how the end result will look and I've just hot glued the ultrasonic sensor within there so let me just show you how it's working right now so as you can see I plugged in the power of the USB right over here and I'm using a power bank let me just turn it on and it has turned on as you can see the relay and the Arduino Uno has light lit up so if I just put my hand over here it is working so as you can see I have fixed my hand sanitizer automatic hand sanitizer dispenser right beside our entrance door and conveniently there is also a power plug right over there so if i can just put my hand and the hand sanitizing or the container is inside here so that is the container holding the hand sanitizer and the pump is inside there and that is the pipe that is going up to here that is the relay that is the ultrasonic sensor the Arduino and this door part is just magnetic you just clip it on on these and just like that the magnet is here and it is locked in so a cover is here also I just opened it to show you how the internal is looking so if I dig in closer uh, this is the makeshift nozzle that I'm using and controlling the flow with the help of a small screw if I tighten it then it drips less and if I lo loosen it up then it will give more 